already, you know, fights in front of a crowd. Oh, he's going to fe feel the pressure with someone like Volkov, who's a veteran. And other people might feel the pressure. Other people are not me. So, I'm different. After the fight, you called out an Australian and Thai to a Barca? Yes, big fan of Thai. Big shout out to Thai. Is the, is the whole fight, is that whole fight just going to be about beer? Probably. I mean, no, what the whole fight, the reason why I called out Ty is first of all, I'm a massive fan of his style. Second of all, massive fan of his personality. And uh, the crowd goes wild when he fights. And apparently, the crowd goes wild when I fight. So me and him in the UK, come on bro, what a good time that would be. Let's line it up, next UK car, get me a tie on, please. You mentioned you drink beer, but would you do, would you do shoeies? Is that something you do? I'm a shoey virgin at the moment, but if Ty wants to do one, I will. Big shout out to Ty for doing his thing with the shoey. I started seeing that he's making money off that as well, so respect, man. Tom, just over here at the back. Hello! How are you, mate? Lovely suit, lovely suit. Thank you very much. Um, there was a lot of people coming into this fight saying, oh, we've not really seen Tom go past two rounds, we haven't seen his full mixed martial arts skill set if he has one. But I believe in under one round, you were able to display your complete mixed martial artist arsenal. Would you agree with that? Absolutely not. Why not? I didn't really show much, which is what I like. I keep it that way every time if I can. Like, I want to be the biggest mystery in heavyweight ever, mate. Um, these people think they know about me. Nobody knows about me. These people think they know what they're up for against. Nobody knows what they're up against, so. Let's keep it a secret. <laughs> if you keep finishing people like that, then you never need to show everyone your mixed martial arts skill set. And just, I wanted to mention, uh, you're someone who has always given Arnold Allen shine. You always talk about how underrated he is. Did you manage to catch his performance? Or I did, I did watch it. Do you know what? I just like seeing nice people do well in life in any, in any context. And I, see, I think uh, Arnold Allen, from what I don't know him too well, to be honest, but from what I do know of him, I think he's a very nice person. And um, I think he's obviously very skilled and he showed it tonight and excellent performance. Congratulations, Arnold. And just finally, I want to say congratulations, Tom. You, it was a fantastic performance and enjoy your chips and grill. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and I will. Thank you. Yes, Tom. Alberton represent. Oh, Alberton represent in the house. <laughs> they actually announced it. I know, I, know, I, I told them to change it. I told them to change it. Thank you. How long have I been on to you about this? So has everybody else. <laughs> You're making people proud to be from our town because honestly, throughout as long as I've been been there, man, you tell people near Manchester, near Manchester. But now making people proud to be from our town. It's still near Manchester, yeah. but. Well, you still it's, not saying that. It's, it's Atherton. Of course, it's Atherton. You might not the UFC. Nobody doctor. knows where it is. They do now. But they do now. They do so, Atherton in the house. How awesome has this whole experience been for you now that you can reflect on it? Like you've handled everything so coolly. Nothing's really gone smoothly for you. Like I was speaking to Dane before. You moved from early on in the card to the main event slot very quickly. There was, you know, Volkov's appearance here was up in the air as well. We didn't, yeah. we didn't know if that was going to happen or not. Um, there was talk about the event maybe being moved as well. What's it been like for you now? It was all worth it, man. Like, it um, yeah, I mean, it's been a crazy few weeks with this whole stuff that's been going on. And uh, yeah, just glad that Volkov could come here and, and do his thing as well. Like, massive respect for Volkov. I didn't want to fight anybody else, you know what I mean? Like, Volkov. I've been watching him since he was the champ on M1 and on Bellator and all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? And uh, I've watched all his UFC, like I'm just a big fan of Volkov, so I want to fight Volkov and everyone rates him so highly I didn't want to fight some other guy, do you know what I mean? So I'm so glad that we got to do it tonight and big respect to it. You're always very open with how you're feeling walking to the cage and on fight night. What was going through your mind when the announcements were being made and you were locking eyes with Volkov just before the fight was going to begin? Volkov would not take his eyes off me. Yeah. And, uh, Stone cold, wasn't I it? think he thought he was going to intimidate me, but... And it didn't happen? No. I actually laughed at it. Like, you can ask Till and my dad and Colin in the corner, like, I la like he was looking over and I just went, ha! <laughs> and uh, I think it was all downhill from there for him. So, Tom, well done, man. Yes, yes. Let's, let's, oh, oh, thank you. Uh, Tom Volkov was ranked number six in the division. Yeah. Where do you think this win ranks you now in the, in um, the division? To be honest with you, I'm not really interested in rankings. Like, um, if you're the champ, excellent. Anything other than the champ doesn't interest me. 
And Ty, uh, like you in his past, I think, five fights, hasn't gone past the second round either. How do you think a fight with Ty is going to go down? I mean, Ty's a finisher. I'm a finisher. Ty's a man of the people. Apparently these days, I'm a man of the people too, so... What a good time that's going to be! Come on! Let's get Ty over to the UK. Thank you. So, hello, fella. Um, so, five fights in the UFC, four bonuses. Yes. That's always got to sound nice, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's my favourite. Yeah, I thought you said So, in my eyes, you're breaking records. I have to work it out the amount of time you spent in the cage in your first five fights. But you're on track to be breaking records in at least five fights spent in the cage and most fight night performances one as well. Sick. See. That's first. Well, that's just got to, first. Well, for us as a UK fighter, we love that. You know, Brit, U, um, UK, UK MMA scene is the fastest growing sport in the UK. And how does it feel with that right now? And people looking up to you, you know, at a young age. I mean, to me, because I'm so like new to the limelight and stuff. People like if someone tells me to look up to me, I think they're taking the piss. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even joking. I'm like, what? Um, so yeah, that's still a little bit weird. Um, but. Like people in my gym and UK people who I looked up to, like obviously they inspired me. So when someone's doing it from the place that you're from, like it becomes more reachable. Yeah. That's a word, isn't it? Reachable. Yeah. yeah. It becomes more reachable for uh, the other up and coming. Like it seems more realistic that they can actually do it when someone's like in America or Brazil, Australia, Russia, wherever, and they're doing it. Like it, it seems like oh they're. It's easy to do it from there, but it's difficult to do it from the UK, so now all those UK fighters are doing well, like, it's just brilliant for the next generation, I think. And out of your five fights you've had, I'll say which one's the most memorable, they happen in a split second, do you know what I mean? But to you, which one was the most memorable? Was it like the Arlovsky fight, fighting a legend like him? Um, the Arlovsky fight was a big one, but um, no disrespect, Arlovsky's 42, and... To be fair, he's doing really well in his recent fights. Like he's looked awesome. I think he's won six out of his last seven. The only one he's lost to me is to me. Uh, but people still look at him. This is not me. I took him completely serious, obviously. But people still look at him like an older guy, um, and they shouldn't because he's still really doing well. But everyone knows that Volkov is a threat to the whole division. He's one of the best in the world. So Volkov is by far my biggest win, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, I agree as well, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Tom, um, you said on media day that you hadn't spoken to Dana White ever. Have you spoken to him since? Oh, we've had a few cuddles, mate, and everything. We've had a great time. You gave me a bottle of whiskey or whatever it was. By the way, good to see you in the... I'm glad that you've made it. That's oh, good yes, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had, we had a good chat and I just said, listen, I don't want to fly nowhere else. I want to bring the UFC here. Like, we need... The UK is doing so well. Stop flying us to other places. Like we don't want to go to Abu Dhabi and Vegas and all that. We, we've done that. We've done that in COVID. And um, let's start bringing it here. Like this is where it's at. This is where MMA is at now. And we've got so many good fighters. Let's bring it here again this year. Well, Dana did say that uh, because of tonight, he's looking to try and bring the UK back here again. So I'm assuming that's it. You want to be on that card? I, I, I told him. I told him. Look, Dana, get me in the UK, please. Brilliant. Thanks, mate. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Hey, Tom. Congrats on the victory. Thank you. The competition gets harder, but you're looking more impressive each time. Speed a big advantage. How do you stay so cool, calm, and collected, and why are you getting better when the competition is getting better inside there? Um, do you know when you're very passionate about something, it becomes very easy to you. And there's a lot of people involved in MMA who just want to be cage fighters and just want to have the image of being a celebrity or... I don't know what people do it for. They want to be the local tough guy and be, I'm a big cage guy, like, yeah, I've got go to the UFC. Like, I am passionate about this sport beyond belief. Like, I love this sport, so it comes very natural to me. After you got the victory, there until jumped on the cage alongside with you. Is it safe to say you're the better friend over Hamza Chamayev? I think Hamza's taken it. But he, I don't mind that. Too much. I got <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not right. When you're watching the rest of this full car, like all the finishes got bonuses, like not just you, normally it's three, but all nine of you got finishes. So when you're watching this fight, you're just like, Jesus Christ, what do I have to do to get a bonus after all of these? Um, I wasn't thinking about a bonus, to be honest. I seen Molly's elbow, and I just thought, my bonus is gone straight away. 
but yeah, I appreciate it. Like that money goes a long way for someone, for all of us. I'm not going to say someone like me, but 50 grand's a lot of money for anybody. So I appreciate the 50 grand. No tears this time, though. No tears. <laughs> Now, obviously, you talked a lot about you know training with Tyson Fury, training with Rico Verhoeven, and everything. But I would have to imagine now that there's going to be young fighters that will come train with you, and they're going to be like, "I train with Tom Aspinall now." So, if you thought about that, like now, young fighters in the UK are going to be looking at you as kind of the face of what they want to be. I don't know. I don't really think about like I don't really think about that kind of stuff to be honest. If they do, any heavyweights welcome. Tom, you know you said that you've never done a Shiri before. You're a Shiri virgin. <laughs> Can I pop your cherry? No, I'll only do one with Ty, and I'm not going near your fucking shoe. That looks disgusting. <laughs> I deliberately got made them get a beer to make you do it. No, I'll, I'll have the beer. Okay. But Give him the beer. When Ty comes to the UK, Ty will pop my cherry. <laughs> Gently, I hope. Have we got a bit of? No shoe. Especially not Oscars. All right, well then, just down. No. I'm a gentleman. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.